Okay, well, welcome, welcome to How to Connect to Your Spirit Guides. I'm Jennifer Angel, Mind, Body and Soul Alignment Coach and Professional Astrologer. Okay, so do you have spirit guides? Mm, I think so, okay. Um, do you know how to connect with them? I personally have three main guides. I'm sure I have more, but... I have three that I know of, of who I called in every single day of my meditation or anything else. And they each of them come through differently. So I have given them names um, and uh, names that they have accepted. And I've actually given the group a name as well. So uh, and, you know, I. I know each of them, so they feel differently. They each have a different energy. Um, and I mean, I have a lot of people in spirit. I mean, I, you know, by the time you get to my age, then, yeah, there's, there's a few people that are in spirit, right? And I have quite a few close people um, that are in, in spirit and I do feel their energy as well and I do connect with them. I'm sure they're there all the time but I have as I said three main guides and today I want to talk about the different ways that you can connect with your guides and just introduce yourself to them. And uh, I'm going to just share my screen now because I do have a program, relatively new program, people are really enjoying called Mind, Body and Soul Alignment for Abundance, okay? And abundance is not just about money, it's about anything that you want in your life, okay? So understanding the concept of alignment and its importance um, in, in abundance is, is important because the more that you can align with the universal energy or the God energy or your guides um, or people in spirit, then uh, you know you get that connectedness and uh, it's it's a very beautiful. So this is the course. I'm going to just go through briefly what's in the course and then I'm going to come back and focus on um, connecting with your guides and that part of the course, which is in the soul area okay so you know first of all because we're going to be going through the mindset like cultivating what does it mean to cultivate an abundance mindset what does it mean to nurture your body for abundance and just bringing everything into alignment and then aligning with your soul purpose with abundance for your soul purpose like what are you here to be doing and um, there is like astrology as well as one of the lessons in each of these modules, six module course, and it's 30, around 32 different lessons. So it's quite an extensive course. Um, and then at the end of it, we're going to go through um, setting your vision statement. And I do have, I have pulled this out as a separate um mini program as well called life alignment so you can have a look at one of the videos and and check that out and that's a very minimal price 37 dollars okay 37 because it's a royal star number and you know i love that it's a higher vibrational number uh so yeah we go through all that with this course as well it's great to do it as a buddy as you'll see here you can work online with me one-on-one -on -one takes over you know weekly sessions over a three month period um uh, but you know you can just do the course yourself online or you can do it for buddy as you can see this is the best value it brings it down to 167 dollars each because this course is better done with a buddy coach because you keep that accountability with each other okay it's much more effective so I, I love that so I really encourage you to do that okay so let's go on now and have a look this is what once you register 
for mind, body and soul alignment, then this is your, your portal. Okay, so you've got all the lessons here, you know, module one, module two, there's videos and worksheets and explanations and introductions. Um, in video and written form for each of the modules, all right? And this is the soul module, which I'm going to be talking about today. In particular, um, meeting your spirit guides, okay? So let's just move on to the next screen. So meet your spirit guides. So here we go. So in in this um uh, you know, module, there's many, many ways, like there's, uh, this is the video for the overview, and then I have a um, meditation video, which is a meditation that I have written, and one of my students, uh, one of my clients just recently said to me over the weekend, it was brilliant. It just, she said, it just walked me through it. And, you know, I'm hoping that you'll come on board and do this. So I don't want to tell you too much about it because it's a journey where it like walks you through and hopefully you meet your spirit guides. I mean, if you don't meet your spirit guides on the first time, then sometimes it, you know, you got to stick with it. Okay. Um, and also we talk about open eye meditation and there's a lot of uh, mandalas here to do open eye meditation, but let's leave that for uh, for another time, okay? Um, so in here, I want to just go through and show you the worksheet which i have already got open here okay so this is the your worksheet for um meeting your spirit guides and uh, each of the lessons have these worksheets so you're really intensive you really get into it you cannot do this course without coming out with some huge aha realizations okay um and if you do you know you do the work i mean of course you can do it by yourself uh you know with me or as i said you can do it by yourself or with um a coach buddy all right about you know so we go through we talk about intuition uh and then you know we look at like what are the signs and symbols and talk about how you can trust your intuition and know your intuition the other thing to look at what are the signs and symbols like the symbology in your life what's showing up for you all the time so you want to take notice of that too dreams personally for me whenever i have uh, a dream it's always a message like i don't always remember my dreams but if i do remember it i know to write it down straight away as soon as i wake up because you know, if you leave it too long, it like dissipates before you know it, you know, you've lost like the main part of the dream. So, you know, if you have a journal, I'm a big journal person. I love journals. I have like many, uh, many uh, journals and rather than just have one journal, I have different journals. I love these little journals. Like I just get them from Amazon. They're not very you know they're not very much and you know each of these journals in different color um these are my inspired thoughts this is for my print on demand astrological t-shirt business um this one is just every day and the yellow one is for my health and well-being there's a couple missing but yeah these are really good and I, I buy, just find that works. it works well for me that way rather than just having one journal for everything because I could never find anything when I just had the one, okay? So good to have a journal, whether you do multiple like me or just one. You want to watch for the synchronicities in your life. What keeps showing up, okay? What are these messages telling you? Are they similar situations that you need to take note of? I mean... You know, a, a, a girlfriend of mine said this morning, oh, she ran into an ex, you know, 
boyfriend who she's still love in love with. We do that, don't we? And I said, well, that's interesting. You're still connecting, still crossing paths. So, you know, there's something not finished there. Whether they're going to get back together or not is another thing. But, you know, the energy is still there because, you know, when you think about it, all the people in the world, everything that goes on, I mean, and then you cross paths with that person at that precise moment at that intersection i mean is it just a coincidence maybe not okay you're attracting that energy still right so keep a note of that and you know all, keep a note more importantly of your physical sensations and your emotions like for instance when my three guides come through I call them in individually although as I said just recently I gave them a group name um, and I can tell each one it has a different energy and you know for instance my body jolts, you know, when I go into a meditation sometimes, I will just like do an involuntary jolt. And to me, that's clearing the energy. It's like unblocking the energy and just clearing the way um, for a clearer, you know, path to source energy. And so my first guide comes through, which is a she. And what she does is she tends to rock me, okay? Well, not tends to, she does. She rocks me. So it's like this. Okay, thank you. The next one, call in and he like jolts me, you know. And then the next one, who is a much stronger energy, took me a couple of weeks to calibrate with that energy when he was first coming in because um, I felt lightheaded for about a couple of weeks. I knew I was calibrating with that energy because my physical energy and the power and the potency of the guide's energy were not quite aligned. And so it took a little word time to calibrate that. Now, when that guy comes in, I feel his energy. It's like this wash of energy that just comes up and goes right over the top of me. Very, very, very different. And so, you know, to get used to that energy um, and you know, the the meet your guides meditation uh, that uh, um, another one of my clients said that when they did that meditation, it just took them step by step and it just took them there. It just took them there to, to meet their guides. Now, uh, has she got set up a full communication with them from day one? No, You're building a relationship, okay? It takes time. It takes time for you to get to know um, them and and how to communicate with them and spirit energy it's, it's just like you communicate you've got to communicate we have free will they're not able to come in and rearrange your life okay you have free will and so you need to be able to communicate with your spirit guides and just you know talk to them and tell them to come in and ask them to help you with things okay or well, ask them to give you messages a great time to do that i always think at night just before you go to bed sometimes i will ask i have like a water uh rising uh, a water moon i have a cancer moon and so uh you know <laughs> cancer people and strong cancer influence people um if that term sleep on it is a really relevant you know to, to cancer and all the water signs really and particularly cancer like a good night's sleep if you ask the question before you go through or if you have a lot of cancer in your um, chart uh, then you'll get the messages in the morning okay meditation of course as a must i love meditation i meditate every single day if i don't i miss it um and i feel it and so yeah that's that's a, you know try to incorporate a form of meditation and there are different forms of meditations and we do go through that in this course as well 
Um, and these are some of the other suggestions and action points and things to look for, you know, the frequency and intensity, um, you know, to get clarity is the same message coming through. What does that mean? And, you know, you can um, come through and have a consultation with somebody like me or a trans medium. I have a trans medium I consult occasionally. But really, uh, that's to, just to help you. It really comes from you, okay? And it comes from just persevering and, you know, building that relationship, all right? Uh, how, you know, is it, as I said, is it a repetition? Um, how does it feel? You know, you're always tuning into how it feels. Is that that knowing feeling? Does it feel... You know, I really believe we know we know when our balance, our body is out of balance or out of alignment, and we know when we're out of alignment, and we know when something is just not right. It, it just doesn't feel right. It's as simple as that. And um, but that takes time to learn, and that's what the mind, body, and soul alignment course is for. Um, it, of course, is great for many other things like anxiety and stress because we build, we're building like new habits and rituals every single day for you to incorporate into your life, okay, and in your lifestyle. Um, and so, you know, that self-inquiry -inquir is really very critical to just analyzing the messages that you get. Uh, you know, trusting your gut feel, trusting your intuition, gut you know, gut feel really is more of a physical thing. What we really want to get you to is the trust in your intuition that just comes from your inner self and through from your connection with source, all right? And, you know, as I said, you can seek validation from, uh, you know, people like myself, but uh, but the, the, the goal is for you to be able to do this for yourself. Journaling, um, and just allying, you know, allying with your highest good. Does this feel good? Is this for your highest good? Okay. Keeping in mind, life does have its inevitable compromises. Okay. And these are some more signs and symbols. And then you'll see like on the right hand side here, all of the worksheets have this where you can write down just your comments, how you're feeling about it at the time. Um, and when you write things down, it just helps to concrete it. Like it really, like there's power in writing it down. Writing it, I mean, you can get on the computer too, but, uh, you know, and I'm a Capricorn, so I'm a big computer person, big on forms, tables and all the rest of it. But, you know, for this inner work, I like to just use the journal. Um, you know, you can watch out for animals. I did, you know, train under a shaman, a Native American Indian in Australia for a while in my younger years. And I, I found my, um, you know, my spirit guide and that's a, a raven. And so, you know, for me, it's significant when I see a raven. I, I have about three of them. I don't think they're quite ravens, they're blackbirds, but, um, there's three of them that come and they sit on my balcony and I find that sort of an auspicious and very calming for me. Uh, feathers, you know, you can see feathers can presented, be presented to you and uh, feathers are good for use for saging, but not to buy a feather, you know, to just find one. It just like appears. Uh, dreams, scents, um hearing messages the name I've actually heard my name called a number of times it's really first time it's sort of like well what is that you know um but it's it's um it's interesting and it's comforting synchronicities that are happening intuitive flashes and flashes of light I see flashes of light a lot actually um, not quite daily, but, uh, you know, certainly on a weekly basis, more so now than I did, say, 20 years ago. And it's almost like, you know, you could see somebody there. Uh, and I'll tell you a funny story about when I had my little dog, if you've been following me for a while, my little yogi uh, poodle, my little astro poodle, died a few years back now. Um, but I, I remember once when I, I moved and I had this 
big um, sofa, studded sofa, and he had little stairs to go up to the sofa. And he, you know, he used to do that. He'd race up, race up and down them, you know, and he was only five pounds, a tiny little thing, my little boy. And so, and this one time, it's like he would go up, halfway up the stairs, and he would look at me, and he'd look back, and he'd be wagging his tail, so I knew it wasn't it something bad, and then he would go down again. And this, he would do this a number of times. Finally, I got the picture. There was someone sitting on the lounge, right? There's, a, there's like a spirit on, there's some spirits on the lounge. Finally, I had to say, no, can you please move? Because my dog can't get on the sofa. And um, they did. So, you know, just take notice of, you know, strange things that happen, okay? Um, all right, so that's that. There's lots more in this um, program. You know, we go through in intuition and how to... Um, work with your intuition, develop it, know it, trust it, uh, about, um, you know, getting to know and calling in your spirit guides is pretty cool. And um, I can do it, I've taught other people to do it. And if that's something that you uh, would like for yourself, then I'd love to work with you on that. And, uh, you know, the mind, body, science, I say, can work on those three different ways by yourself, with a buddy, which I highly recommend, and not only that it cuts the price in half, but it's good to work with a buddy. You, you know, statistically wise, people don't um, finish courses. They don't finish reading books, you know. So um, accountability, it certainly works for me. Um, I've had great success, a great deal of more success by working with somebody, you know, within a course or a coach. And I have um, an accountability partner as well. So uh, there's lots of different ways to do that. But anyway, if it's something, as I said, and if you're not sure about it, if you go down to the bottom of my website, um, you can click a link there and book a complimentary discussion with me and let's talk about it, all right? All right, so happy connecting with your spirit guide. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.